Yep. I got an invite to come with some mountain bikers to ride Heartbreak Ridge. Brought the cross bike. Figured it'd be fun. Most of my friends said this is a terrible idea. Terrible? Not really. Bad idea? Maybe. But this is a supper club, so... So this bike is a Kona Private Jake. It's got a carbon fork, Novatec wheels, WTB Nano 40 tires, and it's a lot of fun. At this moment, I did not own a mountain bike, so I rode all the mountain bike rides on this bike. So this bike has a SRAM 1x11 group set on it. It's got a 40 front tooth and a 3611. It's not the best slow climbing bike, but because it has a 1x, I did not drop the chain one time on this complete ride. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to wait for some, to be able to, to pedal. Yeah, yeah I mean. As I said earlier, this bike just does not climb well at a slow pace, especially when not having a suspension. So I'm honestly just trying to keep a momentum and moving forward because I can't sit and grind. So we're currently going climbing there, right? That's to the trail? top of that yeah. hill over there. Hey, <laughs> we're going down there. Um, it's not easy.
And this is the start of Heartbreak Ridge. I'm on a set of WTB Nano 40 tires, no suspension, carbon fork, and drop bars. So if you were gonna attempt something like this, first off, line selection is key. On a mountain bike with suspension, you just hit anything, oh or most people do anyway. On this bike, you gotta be real picky. And oh, second off, right. lower your seat oh, about an God. inch from where you normally would ride it. it. Makes it easier to get your butt off the back of the seat. Yeah, you're not using all the power in your legs like you could, it's definitely a safety to going over the bars. It's so about a third of the way down heartbreak. Uh, rotors are glowing, brakes are fading. 
grip strength is probably 10%. Hurts so bad. So my grip strength was a real concern as I got farther down Heartbreak Ridge. Because I was on the hoods, I was not only having to hold onto the bars, but press the levers down to slow the bike down constantly. There were moments on the ride where my fingers would cramp, which definitely made it an interesting ride. Remember when I said line selection is key? That's the only time I fell on the entire ride. I should have taken the high line, but I didn't. Had it over the bars, landed right there. Uh, Matt oh. is our subject. He's a uh, he's a little uh, beat up. Took a hard smack to the face. Well, that's what happened. I started cramping, and I, I you know, well, around this rock has a little corner. It looks like that's what caught you. Yeah, I, I caught it as I was going over, and it just. So this trail was no joke. One of the hardest the most difficult like mentally physically trails that i've ever done climbing toll road with a 40 tooth was just brutal the back tire has lost so much air and it's rotated uh, i lost 100 percent all the brakes and the rotor was glowing coming down heartbreak my grip strength is she's trash uh holding on to these hoods of these bars but I will say it was a lot of fun. The worst day on the bike is still better than the best day in the office. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hey, even subscribe if you want to. And until next time, adios amigos.